Hello everyone, welcome back to Colouring with Kate and thank you for clicking on the video. Um, so I thought I would do a quick little video on um, this new book that I've bought which is the Creative Companion by Ruby Charm Colours, the 2021 Organiser and Colouring Art Journal. So um, I have the 2020 December I don't know why I said December, but I have the 2020 uh, Creative Companion by Ruby Charm Colours and um, I used it a lot. As you can see, it's quite um, tattered here because um, I've made some good use of it. And you can see that this 2021 planner is the same height, pretty much, yeah, pretty much the same height and um, just a little bit... Um, less wide so you can see anywhere there the difference um, that you've got and I actually um, like the size I think it's really nice and so you'll see the differences in a minute but first of all before we look at that um, I really find these useful for colouring um, and it's just where I like to sort of record and the way that I use this you'll see in a minute is um, that's the only thing actually I've ever I've coloured. Um, but yeah, there's my little quote. When you love what you have, you have everything you need. So this is... You can see that I've put in a few things. But I did definitely use the, the calendars. Um, and there is one calendar that I'll show you, which is the August one. And what I did is I sort of wrote in... The books that I coloured on those days so the books that I um, worked in so I would have completed them that I would write in the books that I um, was working in and then at the side here um, I think I'd just written down some videos uh, YouTube videos that I was going to make <coughs> excuse me for the uh, sort of horsey voice there um, so uh, what I did also is you only get this double page so each calendar for the 2020 is just a double page like this so then I just um, used to write down the completed pages that I had that month and what date I completed them and then here what I bought um, so yeah I'd list that for, for every um, month basically and then the rest of it I sort of was not particularly well organised, you know, I, I had um, all sorts of things like blends, I just used to dip into it rather than write my, the, you know, when you're colouring something and you want to try out particular palettes or colour blends, I'd use a piece of paper, but I had this book, so then I just used this book for things. And um, yeah, I recorded some, for example, channels here where I'd learnt how to you know sort of colour something um, as gold using Prismacolor from Colour with Claire and gold using Polychromos so yeah all sorts of um, colouring goals I'd written you know but they weren't in any particular order and then here at the back you did have the um, the charts so I have pretty much um, swatched out quite a lot of my um, favourite pencils so my favourite pencils are swatched out in here um, and of course the space for the Prismacolor and these I know I, I know my video is on the Creative Companion Ruby Charm Colours and I will get to that but I thought you might want to sort of see how I use this as well and then I put my um, gel pens my favourite gel pens in here as well um, and yeah so that's that so that's how I've used it and I've used it well and um, I therefore wanted to get the 2021 organizer and colouring art journal so this one is like I said smaller and it doesn't have a um, swatching thing at the back you know with the with the swatches for the different pencils or everything because I think Ruby Charms has got a separate book out which is the big book of colour charts or something like that so there was no real need to put that in here so I might purchase that I'm not sure because I'm not a great swatching fan but it's worthwhile to do but um, I'm not sure whether I'll get that or not um, because this is quite useful to me from my 2020 version to use anyway this 2021 organiser 
and Colouring Art Journal has um, a calendar section. So of course you've got the journal belongs to page and then just bring you in a little bit like that. I hope that's maybe a little bit out. Oops, I think I'm probably where I was before. <laughs> right, that's that's fine. So you've got your copyright information there. So start again, that's your title page, a uh, little lovely picture there. So you've got little sort of little pictures to colour if you wish as well. The publication information. Um, the journal belongs to Paige with that uh, image from the front. Lovely insect here. And then just some information here and it um, lets you know that this book mainly comprises of the 2021 calendars, the compendium, uh, where basically you just um, make lists like art supply resources, wish lists, books, techniques, websites etc it can be anything you want um, you can list the books you want to read um, whatever it is um, a list of favorite YouTube channels a list of movies to watch whatever it is um, and then your creative planner is um, loosely divided into eight different 10 page areas each with its own artwork and a mix of graft line and blank pages so you can divide them up how you like so the creative planner part is a suppose where you can you can um, try out your blends or um, color palettes that you're happy you know that you want to record and use. Um, I mean, I I might use it some of some of the pages for quotes because I really like quotes um, and you know this would be a nice place to record them. Um, and then there's a few pointers there from Susan Carlson as well. And so a legend here as well, so you can uh, pop in your own symbols. And then what I really like about this compared to the uh, 2020 version, because I was a little worried, I'd ordered it off Amazon and I thought um, it's going to be smaller, what if I don't like it and you know, what if, what if it's not suitable for my needs. But then I was really pleased once it arrived because, I'll tell you the main reasons, you've got your indexes here and then you can just add in here um, the page numbers of whatever you know whatever you use in your creative planner. Um, so you've got plenty of space there. That's a lovely sort of plant-like picture there. And then there's your 2021 calendar year. So the year to see there, all the way from January to December. 2021 highlights that we had um, in the 2020 book as well. And then this, I think, isn't in the other one. Let's just have a quick look. No, we didn't get a 2021 look ahead in the 2020 version. Uh, yeah, we just got a few pages of 2020 highlights, but we didn't get the look a year ahead. So that's new. And then this lovely little picture here. I think it's a cat, but I'm not sure. And then this is what I like the most. So as you saw um, from the previous one, if you have it, there's only a page with the month to view. And then, you know, you can use it for whatever. I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to record every day what I colour in. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that like I did last year but what I'm definitely going to do is um, still record all the completed pages per month because that's always useful for my YouTube videos as well and also um, keep a track of what I've bought um, so yeah what I really like about this that was only a one double page spread but here you've got this which is over sort of the two pages and I understand that it's narrower so it's probably a similar size and you've got this little bit here so if you do put appointments in and then this space isn't big enough you could always write 14 here and then carry on so there's that little leeway to do that and write additional things and maybe even at the bottom here and then you get all these pages and that's what I really wanted I wanted a few pages that were specific for each month so that I could use you know so it could be month specific so for example I will record here um, sort of wrote some things down to remind myself what my plans were so I'll probably use the pages that I've completed 
colouring that month, the books that I've coloured them from. I'll probably also include what I bought, um, YouTube video ideas um, for, the, for that month. Um, any colour alongs or tags which is something I didn't do this year but um, it's a good place to record you know any monthly colour alongs or tags that come up and um, also that month books I plan to colour in so any colouring plans that I have for that month that I want to do um, and then maybe use this these pages for um, just that month whatever my, whatever I am colouring I could use them for like trying out colour blends and possible colour palettes etc and then maybe even um, cause this would be a good area to sort of try out colour blends because there's a lovely picture to try it on each month um, and then maybe even wisdom quotes for that month as a little record of you know maybe how I'm feeling during that month and the, you know the quotes are a really nice way of sort of um, sort of noting it down and remembering it so each um, month has got the monthly month to view spread with this little bit you've also got a little picture here which that was a picture up there in the January version so you can always write under here as well as well as there and then also the other thing that I noticed is um, compared to the 2021 is that you've also got some of the days marked out in terms of what they are so for example 27th of February is polar bear day so um, obviously most of us know 14th of February is Valentine's Day etc so each month will have this uh, spread and then <laughs> lined pages with these circles at the top which you can use as a key for something then just straight lined pages Again, a, um, a unlined page, so just a plain page with the circles at the top, a grid, um, and then like some circles there, depending on how you want to do a palette of, of some sort or a blend or whatever colours you used, um, and then a lovely picture. So all of these are numbered as well. So because they're numbered, you could uh, go back here and, you know, you know what pages they are so you could have a little look um, so yeah they're all numbered as well so suppose say in March if um, I don't know you you coloured something on say the 13th of March you could sort of link it to say page 47 have a look at this so you might have, you might have used a you might have coloured a particular picture in Joanna Basford's um, book say Enchanted Forest and then link that to say see page 47 for the colour blend and you could have that here so that might be a way you could use it oh, that's a lovely picture as well I really like the pictures in this uh, book as well so I won't go through the whole thing but you've seen the general um, format there for the calendars and then once all the calendars are done so all the way to a lovely picture there as well. Then you come to your, so that's the December one, December 2021. Then you come to your compendium. So again, this is um, page numbered. And you've got this, here you can make your list. So you've got art supply resources. You've got, which goes over a few pages, art supply wish list. Um, books that you've got hashtags podcasts techniques I mean if you don't use some of these like I don't really listen to podcasts I might change that and do something else websites YouTube channels that you're you know follow or interested in and then you've got all these blank pages as well so after the YouTube channels one you've got some blank pages which you can use as lists of your own to make lists of your own and then finally um, there's the creative planner section so again you've got this lovely these I think there's two black pages is there any other black ones no I don't think so so yeah these are your like section titles basically and then you've got your creative planner part which is this bit here 
um, which I think is 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 you know long enough to to do what you what you want to do with it. I've not fully decided yet what I want to do with this creative planner section, but I know I will definitely use my um, the calendar section and the list section, and when I'm planning YouTube videos and just writing down my ideas and noting things down, I'm, I could use this section as well or. Whatever it is, you know, I'll I'll definitely find a use for it because I definitely use my 2020 planner this year, and that's it. Um, so that was a quick whistle top tour of the Creative Companion. I know I talked about the previous one as well, but I thought it'd be nice to do a little little com a comparison of it um, in terms of how I used it and, and my views on it so thank you so much for watching and um, I will put the link for purchasing this creative companion um, in the description below um, take care and if I don't see you before the new year hope you have a great new year thank you bye